Commiserations, uh, Virat just came under a very uh, world-class spell of fast bowling today. Yeah, I think um, the game uh, pretty much changed in those first uh, 40 minutes uh, when we were batting. And <clears throat> as I said in the pre uh, post-match, New Zealand deserves a lot of credit because they really um, put up a great display how to bowl with the new ball. And um, they hit perfect line and lengths and, you know, forced us to sort of make errors, if any, or uh, bowl good deliveries to us. So, yeah, the pressure created was immense in those first 40, 45 minutes. And um, when you lose three wickets uh, for six, it's very difficult to come back into the game. Still, I think our effort was commendable. But, um, yeah, that first spell made all the difference. Virat, uh, wanted to know that uh, one bad day was uh, could have happened with any, any team. And... Top order played eight out of ten matches. They played well, and even the England match that India lost. So, do you think that there was one day that probably you ex you should have expected the middle order to at least put their hands up because you and Rohit and KL have done the job for seven or eight matches. So, are you disappointed? Uh, well, look, you obviously um, feel uh, bad for the result. Um, and everyone goes out there to win the game for the team. And if it doesn't happen, you obviously feel like, you know, you, you could have done things differently or uh, look at things in hindsight. But, um, yeah, that's why these games are called knockouts. Because if the opposition plays better, you're out of the tournament suddenly. So, we have to accept that. I think um, we can, we, we, we're sad, but we're not, um, you know, devastated. Because the kind of cricket that we played in this tournament, we know where we stood as a team. And... Today, we were not good enough and that's the nature of this tournament that a, a bad day at the, at the knockout stage and you're out of the tournament. So, um, I don't think that I, I would like to break things down immediately, but in time, we'll have to sit down and analyze where we went wrong and the things that we could have done right in this game particularly. Uh, at the halfway stage, uh, 240 odd runs to get, uh, what was the feeling in the camp and could the short selection could have been better uh, at the top order? Maybe. Yeah, look, Rohit got um, a really good ball. I thought my, my ball was also decent. Um, yeah, a couple of short selections, yes, could have been better, which I already mentioned. Um, chasing 240, we were very comfortable. We, we were confident that we can get the score. Uh, start is always important. And um, yeah, look, as I said, New Zealand, the way they bowled did not provide any opportunities for us. I think for the first seven or eight overs, we didn't get a ball to drive. So, um, that shows the kind of control they bowled with and um, they put the fielders in the right positions and, you know, there was a perfect spell of fast bowling with the new ball, uh, which really put us under a lot of pressure. So, as I said, we were not shying away from accepting that we didn't uh, stand up to the challenge and we were not good enough under pressure and we have to accept that and accept um, the failure as it, as it shows on the scoreboard. Virat, uh, the initial setback obviously was there, but after that, you know, Hardik and uh, Rishabh looked like they were settling down. A little heartbroken with the shot that Rishabh played at that point in time, maybe could have been otherwise? Look, he's a he's an instinctive player um, and he did well to overcome that situation and string in a partnership with Hardik. I think the way they played after loss of three wickets was, uh, four wickets rather, was, was uh, quite commendable and... Um, in hindsight, you know, he, he's still young, so I've made many, many errors when I was young uh, in my career and uh, he will learn, he will look back and think, yes, he could have chosen a, a different option in that situation maybe and he realises that already. So, you know, all these guys have a lot of uh, pride and passion to play for the country and they are the ones who feel the most disappointed when a mistake happens. On the outside, I know it looks like, you know, it was an error, but the person who makes it, trust me, they, they are the ones who suffer the most with it. So... I'm sure he'll reflect on it and uh, he'll come out stronger. The talent is there for everyone to see and, uh, you know, the character is there. But as I said, yes, a, a few shots, not just uh, Rishabh, but uh, that happens in sport. You know, you make errors, you make decisions which are not right at that time and you have to accept it. Virat, uh, through the campaign, there, was, there were discussions in the media, I'm sure you're aware about the Dhoni's strike rate. Uh, as a captain, was it a first bit of a concern for you that, you know, perhaps... The lower order could have forced the pace more and could have, you know, collected runs faster. Well, look, it's it's always, um, you know, a, a safer option to look at it from outside and say maybe this could have happened. But um, I think today he was batting with Jaddu and there was only Bhuvi to follow after. So he had to hold one end together, in my opinion. And because Jaddu was playing so well, you needed a solid partnership. And to get a 100 partnership from that situation, I think... 
it had to be the right balance of one guy holding an end and Jaddu playing the way he did. I think his knock was outstanding. So, um, yeah, you as I said, when you don't win, in hindsight, a lot of things can reflect in different manners. But you have to understand how the game panned out and till what stage did the game go. And, you know, you, you would obviously expect New Zealand to fight back at some stage because the, the target was steep after losing, you know, five, six wickets. But the way they batted together, I think it was the perfect tempo for that situation, uh, according to me. Uh, Pirat, can you explain the yeah. reasons why MS came so late in the order, uh, you know, at seven? So. Well, he's he's uh, been given that role um, after the first few games of being in a situation where, you know, he can, if the situation's bad, then he can control one end like he did today. Or if there's a scenario where there's six, seven overs left, then he can go and strike. So, yeah, that was the mindset behind it. Virat, um, I mean, regarding the batting in the middle overs, uh, Mitchell Santner gave away only seven runs in his first six overs and took two wickets. Mm -hmm. So, do you think we should have uh, played him a little more aggressively? I mean, six runs in his first, seven runs in his first six overs. Okay. I wasn't there out in the middle. So, again, it's very easy for me to say yes, we could have or no, it was fine. But uh, if I knew the pace of the wicket, what the ball is doing, you looked at the scoreboard, the situation was such. So, we leave... Uh, responsibility to the two guys in the middle to make decisions because eventually as an individual you play one ball at a time yourself and then you're talking with your partner so from the outside it's very easy for us to analyze you know whether they should have or they shouldn't have but um, it should be left up to the individuals and um, they come up themselves and say maybe my decision wasn't right so you know and you have to accept that that's how you failures teach you and and you improve in sport like that but you have to accept errors also we're not denying any errors but i'm saying that only the guys who are in that situation um if i was in there and i and i played in that manner i would be able to tell you why so um yeah in as i said again in hindsight a lot of things uh, can be up for discussion but um you can never really assess from the outside whether it should have been done or not Virat, um, how are you as as a captain and as a player taking this whole yourself, you know, this disappointment? Basically, how are you feeling about it right now? Of course, very disappointed. Um, we played um, outstanding cricket, as I as I mentioned already throughout this tournament, and to just go out uh, on the basis of forty five minutes of of bad cricket is is you know saddening, and it it breaks your heart also because. You worked so hard f throughout the tournament to build momentum. You finish in number one in the table, and then you know a, a spell of bad cricket, and then you're out of the tournament completely. So, but you have to accept it. I mean, um, it's happened to us before, and and we have all come out better cricketers because of these setbacks, uh, especially at at a stage um, like World Cup. But uh, having said that, I mean, we we have qualified till the semis, and you know we have played some really good cricket. So we should be also proud of the way we played and um, uh, look at the positives also because there were a lot uh, throughout this tournament, especially Rohit's performance was, I think, standout performance and just preet with the ball and Jadeja given the opportunities. So there are many things that we can take back as positives, but yeah, um, not having played that bad cricket and then just, as I said, 40, 45 minutes of bad cricket puts you out. But as a sportsman, you have to accept it that these are, this is part and parcel of this game. Uh, very, um, New Zealand often seen as a, an understated sort of side that snuck into the finals after um, three losses. Did, did they surprise you today? And um, also, what's your, um, how do you see them faring in the final against either India or Australia? Um, <coughs> I um, wasn't surprised at all with uh, how New Zealand played, to be honest. Uh, if there's a low total, then we knew there's probably only one or two sides in world cricket that will put seven fielders in the ring. And that was always going to be, one was going to be New Zealand. So, we knew that they're going to attack more. Uh, they would not let the game go till the end, won't take it deep. They'll just go all out and, um, you know, play the game that way because I've seen them play that way. Today also, third man was up in the ring and in a one-day game, you know, you had five catching fielders. So, um, they, they know how to put pressure because they play very consistent cricket. Um, and today was an example of that. And your second question was, who? How do you see them in the final? Well, it really depends on the day. I mean, if, if conditions are good to bat, and then you know they'll have to bat really well. If if conditions are bowler friendly and they put up enough runs on the board, then they become a dangerous side, as you saw in this game. So, 
it, it's anyone's game, I guess. Knockouts, as you saw today. Whoever plays well on that day wins. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't pick anyone as favourites. The team has to play well to win. Jadeja had this wonderfully cute uh, celebration. 50 looking at probably at Sanjay Manjaika. And so how was you reacting in the team? And when did he go out? He seemed to be in tremendous mood, the way he ran down and hit a six. Uh, did he say something before he went out to bat itself? And there was a point at third, last three hours were left, 30 or something. You were sitting in the balcony. You seemed to say, Ho jayega. You were confident at that time. Just when Bolt came. So Jadeja, the celebration and the last three hours. Um, I don't think we any of us had to say anything to Jadeja after what happened over the last one week. He was quite ready to just get onto the park, to be honest. Uh, and you saw that the passion which with, with, with which he played. And we've seen it in Test cricket a few times. He's played knocks under tremendous pressure. And he's got how many? Three triple hundreds in first class cricket, if I'm not wrong. So the talent's obviously always been there. And in my... Um, watching Jadeja for 10 years, uh, you know, me playing with him as well, this is probably uh, his top quality, like best knock according to me because the kind of pressure, the stage we are at, you know, almost out of the game and then he produces that. So he was very motivated. Um, yes, at, at that stage, we all felt like in the change room, you know, the game can be closed out. It can be done. But then again, he played so well. And then, you know, a mistake can happen at any stage. I don't think you, it was even a mistake. It was just lack of execution, which in one day cricket, you have to take a risk here and there. So... Um, I'm really happy for him because, um, you know, he's, he's been a very understated cricketer, but a top quality cricketer for India in the field with the ball, with the bat, priceless. So, yeah, he's had a great, great game today.